all like that. Uh, at least it didn't go into overtime or come down to a buzzer beater. But tremendous respect for Coach Fran Dunphy and his kids and the, what, the, how hard they play. They're hard to guard. Thank goodness we made enough shots and plays um, to, to win the game. We'll open up to questions for Coach and the student athletes. Please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. And please, for the benefit of our uh, guests at the table, please introduce yourself before your question. Uh, Landry, uh, Mark Narducci of the Philadelphia Inquirer, can you just tell me how you were feeling it tonight, especially as you, as you hit those first three shots in the first half? Uh, you know, I was just taking what was coming to me. Uh, I got a couple good looks early on, and, um, you know, that's my mindset every night. Just take what comes to me, don't force anything, and uh, guys were getting me open looks, and I was just trying to step into them and, and knock them down. That's what I did. Sean Pastor, Miles Daly. Coach, you know, um, what is it do you think that, I'm sure you've watched some film of Temple games where it, it, they're just not nearly the team that they, that in the three times you guys have played, what is it about this matchup that seemed to bring out the best in Temple? You know, I, I think you have to ask them that question. Um, we certainly do bring out the best in them, and I, I watch every game film that I, that's, that's uh, put on my computer, which is quite a lot. And you know, I think, okay, man, sometimes they play like that and sometimes they don't. But that's a lot of teams. You, you, know, you, you can't play at peak efficiency all the time. Our team doesn't. No team does. You, you watch Villanova or Virginia. Um, the bottom line is they make shots against us, and we've got to do a better job of, of pressing up and, and getting into their shooters because they tonight they go 46%, uh, but in the first half they're 58%. And in our place the last time, they made 11 threes in the first half, and their high for the season prior to that was, was 12. They make 16 for the game. So, um, again, just a lot of respect for their shooters, uh, the way they can drive it and create, as well as shoot it from deep. Uh, Brown makes shots against us, but Shiz Alston and Rose and, and, and other guys. I mean, the last game it was Perry. He has 14 threes on the year, but he makes six at our place. So, of his 14. Brie Hobbs has Temple Update. Can you guys just talk about how uh, this tournament, your first time in the AAC tournament, has been, you know, different in the previous tournaments for you guys? You want me to do that? Um, um, different. In what way? Just the atmosphere, the, the teams, the program. Um, well, it's mostly Shocker fans. We're used to that. Uh, we, we would have five to 7,000, depending on the year, travel to St. Louis. Obviously, St. Louis is a little bit closer, seven hours from Wichita. Uh, I don't know how many people are out there now, but it's got to be about 75% Shocker fans, at least. So uh, we're used to that. Uh, we probably don't have that many because of the flight, and, and it's, it's a long drive, a couple days. But we have great support. Um, and our guys, you know, we've come close to winning two championships. Cincinnati got us uh, Sunday, and they won the regular season. They certainly deserved it. And then um, we were one possession away from winning a championship in Maui and, and, and kind of gave that one away. So we need to finish to win a championship, and we haven't done that yet this year. So our guys to, to my left and, and some of those guys in the locker room did what they needed to do tonight to beat a very good team, a team that's beaten tremendous teams throughout the course of the year. Coach, when you made a, a run there late in the game, uh, you had quite a few reserves on the uh, on the floor contributing. Reeves and um, <clears throat> I can't remember the other the other guy, but uh, talk about contributions off your bench tonight and what a difference that made. Um, I thought Austin was good in, in his 19 minutes. He has 13 points, but, but eight of 10 from the foul line. Daryl Willis was really good offensively in the second half, in the first half, and then. Um, Marcus McDuffie's one of our core players, but Zach Brown uh, starts and, and they share the minutes. So we usually get great contributions from our bench tonight. It was 27 to 17 from in the points. And then um, 
And we're, I think we're 10 or 11 deep, and that's that's a good thing. It, it, it gives us a little flexibility. And C.J. Kaiser was the other guy that was going in there to give Landry a blow on the defensive end. Other questions? Wichita State, thank you. Thank you, guys.